Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. So we've been following the saga of the LA County's uh, Sheriff, Mr. Villanueva, and what a saga it has been following this guy. It started with, let's see, let's go back in time and then we'll catch up to how he's getting in trouble again with his bosses. Let's see. Here we can see what he looks like. This is our Sheriff Villanueva. The song will matter more later. Okay, let's take a look. The L.A. County Sheriff shuts down gun shops again. That was back on March 26th, because first he closed them down, and then in the county, county attorney says, Dude, you can't do that. And he goes, Yes, I can. So he shut them down again. And then the L.A. Sheriff County reverses his order on March 30th, mostly because the president came out and said, Hey, all you little dweebs out there that are saying you can't do your Second Amendment, you need to back off that. So New Jersey backed off, and L.A. backed off. And then what happened to him after he gets scolded by the president? Well, then the L.A. County supervisors decided, we have had enough of you, to quote Admiral Kirk. And they removed Sheriff Villanueva as the head of the emergency operations. They said, dude, you're... I understand that people elected you, but you were a Hillary Trump thing, and there were a lot of people that didn't want you, but they especially didn't want that other guy. So adios, amigos. And so the very next day, on March 31st, they canned him from his job of working as the head of emergency operations, because clearly he was a power-mad, grabbing dweeb. And now he gets in trouble again. Four days later, L.A. County supervisors again urge Sheriff Villanueva to correct the record on the cootie sick pay. Turns out he was out there telling his deputies, a large number of them who are home for quarantine, that they weren't going to get paid. And the supervisors are like, um, yeah, I don't think so. Let's see. Your unfortunate and erroneous comments have been sowing confusion and controversy. Well, it's nice to hear that about somebody who isn't the president for a change in the press. Controversy by raising doubts about pay for deputies you chose to put on leave last month, the supervisor said in a letter dated Friday, sternly worded letter, shall we add. Of course, these deputies will be paid, as you are well aware. In fact, as a department head, you have the duty and responsibility to make sure this happens. Definitely sounds like he's got a lot of duty whole lot of duty. The letter, signed by five members of the Board of Supervisors, said that Villanueva had to correct this misimpression you have created within the Sheriff's Department and with the public at large, exacerbating anxiety in an already stressful time by sowing false information. Once again, it's nice to hear that about a lefty instead of a... Oh, they are eating their own. Now let's go back and review who this man compares to. Because, you know, L.A. is where Hollywood is. So let's look at his competitors. There's one. He's competing with him. Comes pretty close, actually. You can see the family resemblance, almost. Who else is he competing with? Well, let's check against some other sheriffs. Does he represent? Resemble? Let's see. We're going to have some fun here now. This is a goof-off video after all the doom and gloom videos we've put up recently about the cootie. Is he like number one Sheriff Amos Tapper from Murder, She Wrote? Sorry, I didn't watch Murder, She Wrote. That is always going to be Mr. Cunningham to me from Happy Days. Is he like Sheriff Andy Taylor? Hmm, Barney Fife served with Andy Taylor. No, no, he's not. Andy Taylor got the job done. Did it in a weird way. Is he like Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane? Oh, I can see a lot of similarities between Roscoe P. Coltrane and Villanueva. Except, here's the big difference. Roscoe had to work for Boss Hogg on Dukes of Hazard, So, a lot of the personality, same traits, but not so much the modus operandi. Sheriff Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. I'm the one person on planet Earth that doesn't watch that show. I decided I don't need to watch zombie shows because they're coming to reality in April of, uh, sorry, March of 2020. So I was set. And then there's Sheriff Walt Longmire. Don't know who this fellow is either. Ah, from the Waltons, Ed Bridges. I watched that show for a few years. 
Never did me many favors. Don't even remember the sheriff, so didn't make an impression. Sheriff Lobo. Now, let's see. I gotta be really careful because of copyright strikes. But here, Sheriff Lobo, let's, if we commentate, we're allowed to do it. Let's see what happens. There is a man the legend tell who stands for what is right. Like quieter, he never shirks or cowers from a fight. So far, it sounds a lot like our Sheriff Villanueva. I think they meant to say Via Nueva. Mighty Sheriff Lobo. Again, it's pronounced Via Nueva. You should check out the rest of the video. You can see the title here, The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo, 1979. And you can see how very accurate it comes to describing this fellow. It, it's really hilarious how close it is. So while he's similar to him in appearance, and possibly physical actions. And while he shares a lot of traits with the other sheriffs up there, we're gonna give the award to Sheriff Lobo. What about Sheriff Buford T. Justice? No way, no, 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 no. Buford T. Justice was a lot of things that were goofy, but that man was in control and nobody told him what to do. Not even his son, was it his son or future son-in-law? Can't remember which, but yeah, no. And then Twin Peaks? Kind of fill in the vibe. Tom Bell from No Country from Old Men. Sorry, I didn't bother. I don't like that depressing. Sheriff Hildy Granger. You know, you might expect that in Hollywood, but probably more like West Hollywood as compared to L.A. Sheriff. Ah, the Sheriff of Sleepy Hollow. This is the guy that cut off the Highlander's head. Sorry, I'm always going to remember him in that role. I actually did run into him one day at a basketball court. This guy plays basketball, and he's rather good at it. Go figure. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Sheriff Seth Bullock from... Deadwood. Never seen it, but I'm familiar with the history of the town. No, Vienna is nothing like that. Oh, in Vienna dreams could he be as good as Woody. Ain't gonna happen. And you know, I totally forgot until I went to this this site that Woody was a sheriff. And I didn't know his last name was Pride. Or I forgot, I guess, as the case may be. Sheriff Andy Buford from True Blood. Nah, never seen it. Ah, Sheriff J.W. Pepper from James Bond movies. Which... The guy um, from, let's see, do, 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 do. where'd he go? Come on. Stay with me. No, 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 no. Ooh, I did go too fast. Sorry. This, this fellow right here, Sheriff Buford T. Justice, he did base this character heavily on the James Bond character. Heavily. He admitted it. Well, why not? It's Jackie Gleason. He could do anything he wanted when he was alive. He used to send his wife to the moon. Pow. And then, of course, we have the sheriff part from... Blazing Saddles, and then little Bill Daggett, who is um, greatly admired by one of our favorite channels, the Critical Drinker. He did a Critical Drinker Recommends for a video for this. So anyways, yeah, the current sheriff, not deputy, the current sheriff, 